Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. We're in the library and I think we're probably going to look for a dictionary, but we're trying to find out some local words. So let's speak to the librarian first, see if she knows anything, and then we'll look for the dictionary. Hello, Miss Hambleton. Shh. Uh, I'm looking for some equivalents to normal words. I'm looking for some local equivalents to normal words. Really? Like what? Uh, insipid. Insipid? I'm not sure, dear. Maybe a book would help you. Maybe. What about leathery? Leathery? Hmm. Nothing sprung into mind? Caustic? Caustic. Sorry, can't help you there. Alright, fine. Never mind. Never mind. Um, do you have a dictionary? Do you have a dictionary? We should have a copy of the Oxfart English Dictionary Oxfart. in stock. <laughs> it can be retrieved using the bibliotech. Oh, nice. Okay, right. Bye. Shh. That's the thing back here, right? We haven't used this for a while, so... I uh, can't remember what we do. Do we just put the card in? I should probably return the book I'm borrowing first. Oh yeah, we've still got that book. <laughs> Where was it again? This one, right? The poetry book. Alright, bye. Now let's do it. Uh, a dictionary. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's grab that. Now let's use it. Let's look at it. Let's see now. Insipid. Lacking flavour, weak or tasteless. Leathery. Having a tough, hard texture like leather. Caustic. Able to burn or corrode by chemical action. Ouch! Okay, I'm not sure how that's going to help us out, but fair enough. So we've been here. Let's see, where else can we go? Uh, we've, so we've been to the town centre, we've been to the library. Let's go to Fig Hall and then to the, the Church and the Fate. Okay, in we go. Speak to these guys, see if they know any local words. Are you any good on local terminology? Are you any good on local terminology? What's that, young wimple snuffer? That's a yes then. <laughs> What's a good local word meaning insipid? What's a good local word meaning insipid? I'm not sure what that means. Have you got a dictionary? Uh, Actually, yeah. I do. It says it's something weak, tasteless and lacking flavour. I see. Weak with no taste, eh? Sounds just like the cafe's herbal tea selection to me. Why don't you ask the dinner lady next door? Ah. Uh, thanks. Okay, what about leathery? What about leathery? Any ideas there? Hmm, not really. Okay, uh, caustic? I need a local term to describe something caustic. I've lived a long life already, and that's never come up before. Sorry. Fine, okay, uh, never mind. Never mind. So I guess we needed the dictionary to ask him that. Bye. So let's speak to Esme and then we'll go through and speak to the cafeteria lady, right? Uh, okay. Thanks for the tip-off about the police officer. Thanks for the tip-off about the police officer. No problem. I hope he was helpful. Sort of. That remains to be seen. <laughs> need some help with the local vernacular. I need some help with the local vernacular. Oh, go on. Um, I'm guessing that we can try this one. What's a good local word meaning insipid? I'm not sure, dear. You might have to ask someone else. Yeah, we know who we're going to have to ask for that, I think. Uh, let's ask about leathery. How would a figging tonight describe something leathery? <laughs> oh, like my husband. <laughs> Harsh, but possibly, yeah. I'd call him Frank. That was marginally less helpful than I was hoping yeah, for. Yeah, not great. Do you know anything about caustic, then? Do you know a local term for something caustic? Frank. Okay, Frank. Never mind. It was this, is this Frank? Bye. No, it's Howard. All right, so that's not her husband. <laughs> I was I was thinking it probably wasn't. Can we actually speak to this lady yet, or is she still going to be serving everybody? Uh, I hear you offer a selection of herbal teas. I hear you offer a selection of herbal teas. We do, but no one ever orders them. They taste slightly less exciting than hot water. Proper natcock, if you ask me. <gasps> natcock. Natcock. You know, weak, with bugger all flavour. 
Great word, thank you. Okay, we got Do you one. Do want any tea or not? Uh, no. Thanks anyway. I mean, I'm quite partial to a herbal tea myself, but these guys all want to insult it, and apparently Tom does as well. Um, do you, <laughs> you help with some local words? Can you help me with some local words? Only if you're ordering something, Doc. Yeah, no, what we're not. What should I order? It's more than my job's worth to start recommending anything in this place. Fine, all right. Do you know anything about the fig case? Do you know anything about the fig case? Unless you're talking about an actual case of actual figs. <laughs> No. no, we're not. Bye. Bye. See you later. All right, well, we got one word, Natcock. Where now? That's the question. Probably the church and the, the fate, right? So we still need two more words. One might have something to do with the graffiti on the wall in the shop. Um, but there's that, that coat that I think we're going to have to do something to get rid of. Is this lady still in here? She spends her whole life... Oh, the vicar's in here as well. He didn't die. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> We didn't kill him. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Like a jammy husk. <laughs> Sorry about the jam. Sorry about the jam. Oh, don't worry about it. I've not felt that close to God for years. <laughs> Can you help me out with some local words? Can you help me out with some local words? I'll try. Do you know a local word for leathery? Do you know a local word for leathery? I'm afraid not, my child. Okay, do you know a local word for caustic? Do you know a local word for caustic? I think I'd prefer not to think about things like that right now. <laughs> Fine. That's all for now. Okay, good luck finding your words. Thanks. He's a... Uh... Bye. Bye-bye. It's very nice to us considering we always killed him with formaldehyde. Do you know a good way to describe something leathery? Do you know a good way to describe something leathery? I used to know a chap with a face like that. Okay. Do you know a good way to describe something caustic? What? Like toilet cleaner? Sorry, can't help you there. Fine, All right. Bye. She doesn't even say bye, it's a bit rude, isn't it? Fine, off we go. These guys weren't much help. It's good to know that we it's didn't. Heavy, I know. It's good to know that we didn't kill the vicar. You know, we were slightly worried about that. Let's go back to the fate. See if there's anyone there who can help us. What was that sound? Oh, is the toilet broken? That toilet ain't getting any cleaner. <laughs> Having fun in there? Having fun in there. Just don't. The vicar really did a number on this <laughs> oh, toilet. No. There's weird purple goo everywhere and it won't go off. We don't know about that. That scrubbing looks like hard work. That scrubbing looks like hard work. It's awful. This purple stuff won't come off however hard I scrub. The problem is these cheap council issue cleaning products. I need something more caustic <gasps> to get this off. Ooh, what kind of cleaner do you need? What kind of cleaner do you need? Something, anything, as long as it's caustic enough to get this shite off. Right, okay, fine. Can you help me out with some local words? Can you help me out with some local words? Sure, whatever. Once I get this weird purple stuff cleaned off. God, it smells horrible. Okay, maybe he's gonna know. Bye. Uh, can we play this yet? If I want to play, I should probably chat to the guy running it. Okay. And at the moment, he looks up to his eyeballs in something else. Yeah, so that's him. All right, so we can't do any of the games yet. Uh, let's talk to Hello. Paul the Hollywood. Looking for some local words. I'm looking for some local words. Sorry, I'm not from round here. Okay, thanks for the book. Thanks for the book. You're welcome. I hope it inspires the dream baker in you. It did, but not in the way that you're thinking. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, hang on. Okay, no, there's no cleaner in here. We're gonna have to find some cleaner, I guess, to help this guy out. Uh, it's just some seized property and stuff in here. What's that? Nothing useful. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, do you know any good local words? Do you know any good local words? Like what? Uh, no. Actually, don't worry about Apparently it. Apparently not. I wasn't really going to. <laughs> How does this auction work? How does this auction work? Just take a seat when you're ready and start bidding. Minimum bid is a pound, though. All right, we don't have a pound, so... Bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Uh, at least I don't think we have a pound. No, we don't have a pound. Fine. Uh... So, we're going to need something to help him clean. Could maybe find some cleaning stuff at our house. 
So we do have cleaner upstairs, don't we, in the in the bathroom? I'm sure we do. We've got antibacterial spray. Can maybe take that. I'm not in a cleaning mood. No, but the the guy is. Shampoo, shaving foam, face wash, pills. Really, I'm looking for like some bleach or something, but uh, I don't see any. In the garage, maybe? Any cleaning stuff here? Maybe some washing powder will work? I don't need to do any more washing. No, nope. weed killer. Uh, maggots and stuff. Oh, white spirit, maybe. No, it smells horrible. No, okay. Oil. It's a can of multi-purpose oil. Oh, there's a bottle there. I don't want to play around with strange chemicals. All right, fine. Well, the only other place I can think of is the the shop. I mean, maybe they're selling. Hang on. He's cleaning stuff off of this. I bet we're gonna need this stuff. Mind if I borrow this? What the hell for? I know someone who needs a good corrosive cleaner. Yes. Well, there's none better than this stuff. Take it. I've got loads more in the shop anyway. Thanks. The fruity shooty comes in handful again. I'm getting through a lot of these today. Fine. Yeah, we are. That's what I was just saying. Also handy, not ha I don't know. <laughs> don't know what I'm saying half the time. Do you want this, mate? Here, try this. I have it on good authority that it's the most caustic cleaner around. Thanks, I'll give it a try. You do that. Wow, this stuff's so grunchous. Grunchous. It's sparkling in no time. Grunchous? Yeah, corrosive, whilst at the same time disconcertingly sweet. Good word, thanks. Right, grunchous. So, are we actually making a note of these? No, maybe we just don't need to remember them. I'm guessing Lucy will probably remember them herself. Can we... Can we have a go on any of these games? He's busy cleaning. No, he's still cleaning. So, the only other place that we've seen words then, because we've been to everyone now, is in the storeroom in the shop, isn't it? We've got all this stuff here. What the police? This shop smells like we. But there's this. I'll argue with that. So there's the ah, coat. Genuine dead rat pelts. The dead. shopkeeper sure knows how to cover up in style. So there's I'm... even more graffiti behind yeah, it. Yeah, so I'm I'm guessing we need to see the graffiti that's behind it. I can't reach the hook. Okay, we can't reach the hook. Can I don't we... need to dig that. Can we like do anything to to get it down? That doesn't need a glass of water. Doesn't need a glass of water. Um, so Let's check out my badges. Oh, we've got the badges. I earned this badge for hunting Easter eggs. Yeah, I think there was one of these on, on April Fool's Day, but I didn't play the game on it, which is a sh uh, on, on April Fool's Day, so I didn't get it. I only found out about it today, which is a, it's a shame, but never mind. Um, right, so we've got that. What else could we potentially use on the coat because I don't see any way we're going to reach it. There's no like steps we can put across or anything. Uh, we have... They can strip a corpse of all its flesh and fur in record time. Fur, okay. Hey, <laughs> good one, fur. All little things must be starving. They're going to eat the fur, are they? There we go. Wow, they made short work of that. I'm carrying those beetles around forever and never used it. Curly has a face like a crumplish swan anus. Judging by what the pub landlord said about Curly's face, I guess crumplish must mean thick and leathery. There I we love a good local go. Objective. I must remember to tell Woody about it. That's got to be all of the words, right? We've got three now. That's got to be it. That was clever, that, that. I quite like that, that you had to use the beetles on there. Right. I think those are the words. We only needed three, I think. Okay. I think I have a new word for you. Great. Let's hear it. Um, natcock. Natcock. Apparently, it means something weak and tasteless. Ooh, great. That describes the sauce perfectly. Okay. Crumplish. Crumplish. I think it means thick and leathery. 
and also possibly like a swan's <laughs> Oh, good work. That'll describe the texture perfectly. I must remember to never eat yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why he didn't want us helping him out. Grunchous. Grunchous. It means corrosive yet disconcertingly sweet. That is exactly the feeling I have in my mouth right now. Nice. Right. Let's get this published to the blog. Right, yeah, okay, we only needed three. Done. Okay. What do you need to know? Uh, can you tell me about the, the case? Can you tell me about the Fig Brothers case now? Oh, sure. It all started ten years ago. It was my first week on the force when we got an anonymous tip-off about the body. Hmm. <laughs> We brought the victim's brother in for questioning, but had to let him go due to a lack of evidence. That night, he skipped town. And when we searched the hall, he'd hidden an antique sword with his fingerprints on the hilt and Fergus's blood on the blade. Then there were the DNA traces found at the scene. It was pretty compelling, I suppose, and the chief was convinced that he'd done it. What do you think? This was something the chief and I argued over. Something just didn't add up. Right. When we interviewed him, he seemed in complete shock and apparently gave us another lead. But his interview cassette went missing, and the chief was convinced of his guilt. Huh. Well, it's all irrelevant now, anyway. They dispose of old case files after ten years, so any possible leads will be gone, too. Is there any way I could get hold of one of those case files? I could do with getting to the bottom yeah, of this. Yeah, it would be useful. Actually, I think they're running an auction at the Village Fate today. Oh! They're probably selling some old kitten evidence. You never know. You might get lucky. Great, thank you. Cool, okay. Uh, so we can... What can you tell me about the police chief? What can you tell me about the police chief? Uh, he moved away recently after splitting up with his wife. If you ask me, it was his obsession with this case that pushed them apart. She's still around. I saw her walk past carrying a box of his old things a few weeks ago. No idea where he is now. Could be on the other side of the world. Okay, fine. Uh, bye. 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 So, we've got to look for old um, case files at the police auction. We can do that, but um, we'll do that in the next one because we're out of time. It's coming together nicely. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne Nate, Tummy Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Luminous, and Coomadin. And I'll see you next time.